How did the state handle the transition overnight, and is it ready for what's ahead? Let's turn to consumer investigator Chris Kimura. Your team asked those exact questions today. How did it go? Yeah, we didn't get all the answers that we wanted, but we have some for you. Here's what we know. We were watching last night and saw the state throw the switch early, in fact, at 1122 when we looked at it, and they said, yep, everyone is available in California now. That's when it was streamlined, and as promised, yes, everyone could get in. Luckily, it has not crashed. Prior to the switch, the state said that it was handling 15,000 requests per hour. So we asked, what about today? What happened? The Department of Public Health said it is too early for updated numbers, but it assured us that it, myturn.ca.gov's max capacity is 300,000 requests per hour, Janelle. Okay, that is good news that the computer didn't crash. It can handle now millions of people looking for a vaccine because they're eligible today, but what about supply? What's going on with that? We hear it's coming. When exactly is it? Yeah, we asked today about what's happening there. Today, the state said something that isn't really very much reassuring. In its vaccine forecast, it said it's basically going to be flat for the next couple of weeks, between 1.9 million to 2.0 million doses per week. What's that mean for people like you? Well, that means the hunt for an appointment might drag on for you and for folks like Tracy Hoyt, who is in San Jose. She wrote us recently and said she can't get an appointment. I'm searching five hours a day. I'm so frustrated, Janelle. Yeah, a lot of people are in Tracy's position. Some are finding it easily, some are not. What do, what do people like Tracy do? We've been trying to help you out, and we're going to continue to do that. What we can say is you should keep searching the state for sure. Also, go to public health and pharmacies. They're an option because they get their doses from a federal pool. Today, we've seen big swings at the pharmacies. So CVS here is actually in the yellow. Overnight, they had almost 150 locations with open appointments, but as people booked, that dropped to 18 this afternoon. The opposite at Rite Aid, though, which is in green, a bot that we follow on. On Twitter showed open locations with appointments basically doubled throughout the day today from 227 Janelle to 459. You know, I noticed a lot of my friends went on at 5 p.m. and appointments opened up. So I don't know if that's a good time frame like right now, but you never know. Okay, yeah. now the other option is you don't have to find and get your appointment right in the Bay Area. That's probably why it's so hard. There's so many people here, right? Appointments are being. Um, Booked fast. Can you go outside the area? You can. Yeah. Okay, so the, yeah, the question here is that where? Where can I go? Well, we're still finding lots of openings in the Central Valley if you're willing to drive. That's the same as we've seen for a couple weeks now. So yeah, if you're willing to get in the car, you might be able to get a shot soon, maybe even the same day. And here's the thing: new appointments might continue to go to these locations. Here's why: pharmacies are using what's called a social vulnerability index to target at-risk areas. At the same time, however, Janelle CV. Yes, said it's okay to cross county lines. Yeah, they're going to a lot of community clinics and more rural areas, so their vaccine supply is plentiful in some areas. Okay, thanks so much, Chris. So maybe travel outside your area yeah. and just keep refreshing. Keep exactly. refreshing your Constantly, computer. Constantly, yeah. Yeah, okay, thanks so much. You're welcome. Well,